everyone. My name is Christy and welcome to day 1038 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I am so excited about the Dollar Tree product that I'm trying out. This is from LA Colors. It's their Loose Powder. So I got this in the shade Light. I love that this comes in a few different shades and I love LA Colors. If you've been watching my channel, you probably know that because I think I have tried out every single LA Colors product at the Dollar Tree and they come out with a lot. So I have tried out hundreds of LA Colors products and I just love LA Colors because they make amazing products, but they're so affordable. Seriously, some of my favorite all-time makeup products are from LA Colors and I just really appreciate a brand that brings the kind of trendy makeup, but then really good quality makeup to make it accessible to everybody so that everyone can afford to do the makeup trends. So this is a lightweight formula to help set makeup and create a flawless looking finish. So I will definitely try this as my setting powder, but I also wanted to come on here and just try it on my bare skin. I am keeping in mind that this is not claiming to be a powder foundation or anything like that, but just to see how it looks on my skin if I were to wear it alone. So it does come with the little sifter. Let's see if it comes off. Oh good. I love the types of loose powders that have the sifter but that also come out because a lot of times I like to just dip my sponge into the powders and it's easier for me to do that when I don't have the sifter. But to try it out at first, I am just going to tap a bit into the lid here. And to try it out as that kind of powdered foundation technique, I'm gonna take a foundation brush. So this has more dense bristles than a loose brush that I would use to just lightly dust this all over foundation. So let's see. That makes not much of a difference at all, like coverage wise. I did already go ahead and I actually primed my skin with my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which is what's giving my skin this glow. But you can see that where I applied the powder, it did kind of mattify. So with it, without it, the discoloration like the redness in my face really doesn't look any different there's no real coverage like i was saying but i can tell that the powder is mattifying but not drying and leaves absolutely no texture so no cakiness no dryness so i'm really glad to see that but since this doesn't have coverage, I am going to go right ahead and apply my foundation. So I'm going to use my Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream with SPF 30. I just love the Pure Lease BB and CC creams. I use them pretty much every day. So this would be a good product for me to test this out with because it would be something that I wear very often. And this does have some glow to it that we will be able to see the difference with some mattifying powder. So I'm just quickly applying this BB cream, but if you wanna see my full in-depth review that I can have linked in the description down below. All right, so my BB cream is applied and you can definitely see that radiance, which is something I really love about this foundation. But I do think it is good to set it with a powder. That way it's not slipping and sliding, it'll last all day. So I just tapped off a little bit more of the powder into the cap and this time I'm taking a big, loose, fluffy brush and we're gonna pick some up. And I'm gonna start by applying this to half of my face. So that we can compare the difference. All right, so that is 
so quick and easy to apply with this method. And you can see it definitely mattifies the skin, but it kind of gives like a soft appearance to the skin. Like it's not a dry matte at all. It kind of almost made the foundation kind of go more to a natural skin texture. So like before it's got that sheen. Now I wouldn't say it's super matte. It's more just a natural finish. But what I really love is that it doesn't look like there's powder on my face. Like you can't see any powder texture. I do think that since I chose the light shade, it's too dark for me to use it as an under eye powder because I like to use something lighter and brighter. I'm really liking how it's looking on my face. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the rest of my face. This brush leaves little hairs behind because it's not a very great quality brush, but it's funny, the little hairs that it leaves behind look exactly like Dexter, my puppy's hairs. And I'm like, that could just as easily have been one of Dexter's hairs stuck to my face. <laughs> but I think that this powder proves that you do not have to spend a lot of money on a setting powder because this looks perfectly beautiful on the skin. It's doing exactly what you would want a setting powder to do, which is to mattify and set your makeup for long lasting wear, which just to give this a full test, I will put in the description down below my wear test results of how this wears as the day goes on. So I'll let you know if it gets any sort of texture, if my skin stays mattified. I'll put that in the description down below with my wear test results. But right now, I am very happy with this. I think it compares to other setting powders that I use that are way more expensive. Something that I will note though is, this is pretty small. I mean, I only paid a dollar for it, but most of the time when you get a setting powder, they're pretty big containers. And I'm sure that this is still better value than those bigger containers that I have that are more expensive. But I think that this is probably a product that I will go through pretty quickly. So if it is something that I love, I wanna purchase a few of them to have on hand. But so my finished makeup, I really like how it looks. It's not like my skin looks dry at all. It still looks healthy. It has a little bit of glow still. I'm happy with the coverage. I'm so happy with the texture that there's no cakiness. You can't even detect the powder, but you know it's there because of having less sheen on my foundation now. But so I would love to know in the comments down below your thoughts on the LA Colors Loose Powder if you have tried it out, or just let me know what are your favorite LA Colors products? I'm sure I've tried them, but if I have it, I really wanna hear your recommendations so that I can get them. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.